I can remember, you know, it's so funny the thing to remember. I can see my mother behind that bakery counter and some little kid coming in, he's got his nose pressed up against the thing. It was in a, not a good section of the city. And my mother reached in and pulled out a jelly donut and gave it to the kid. You know, he's looking at her like, I mean, he was hungry and he couldn't, it was a poor section in town. Where was the store? Where was the store? We're in Woodbury's in Springfield, Mass. In yeah, fact, what part of town? Was, well, it was yeah. not bright when it was a little further down, but everybody, my sister Helen and Tony worked in the office, my brother Wally worked, everybody in the family worked there. And it was funny, on Friday, my father used to go down and pick my mother up to bring her home. And the man that had the fish, care of the fish counter, lived on the next street. My father used to bring him home too, and I had to sit in his lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But they, you know, I could just see this little kid sticking there with his nose up against the my mother just reached me out and put on the jelly donut and gave it to him. You know, kid lived in the poor section of town and as much as she was tough when she had to be, I mean did she make you give somebody your mittens or something? What? Did she make you give somebody your, your mittens or something? Yeah. yeah. It was right there. She, uh, it was a cold day. Marge had taken me to the dentist. Stopped in and she was Did mad you at me. The dentist yes. said that? Yeah. <laughs> and my mother, this kid is there and he's cold and it's a winter day and my mother said, give me your mittens. It couldn't work. She said, you can get another pair. Give me your mittens. And she gave them to the kid. <laughs> you know, as, when I say as tough as she was, because she had to be with ten kids and whatever. But still, there was something there that, you know, when she saw somebody that didn't have it as much as we had, or, which wasn't a hell of a lot, but at least we ate, we had mittens, and you know. She said, give me your mittens. And she said, you can get another pair, he can't. The kid looked her, he's got his nose up against the glass. I can see her reaching in and giving the jelly donut. I mean, I think she was stern in many ways, and I'm sure she had to be. With ten kids and not Nell and Grandpa, but still, there was that part of her that when she saw somebody, you know, as much as we weren't rich, Joe, we had, we always had food on the table, and we always had, we were walkover shoes, which were very expensive. And I see they got walkover we, shoes. Walkover, and we used to put our feet in and X-ray them. And then they stopped that because they said, so now I see they're doing it again. You put your feet in and they see your toes to make sure the shoes fit you right. Walk over shoes. And I just saw something on TV the other day where they've gone back to it because, well, for also for a lot of people who don't realize how kids' feet grow so fast. You know, when they wear the same shoes for six months and they're too small, shock one, you know? But she, I, I don't think at the time that I, I don't know, I don't know as I say, I appreciated my mother, but I look back on it and I'm saying, ten kids and the grandpa and Aunt Nell, oh my God. When you saved her, she had a sense of humor. Save the day. Grandpa Moran, that's your dad's father. Your dad's father. He was... What did he do? He went to the car barn? What? No, well, he used to go up there and play cars with the guys at the car barn. That's when we had probably cars. And they up the street around the corner, they have what's called the car barn, where they put all the trolley cars in when they weren't running. And he used to go up there and play cards with the guys. They played for neck away. And he'd come home and he'd say, Mousy, I have some mousies for you. And he's got all these neck away. He's like, we play with all my long that he's given to me. <laughs> my mother said, you guys have been having them all night. You're giving But he'd say, come on. He was, he was a dear man. I always remember coming home from the car barn, well, I think it was either Christmas or New Year's, he slipped, he had a little shoe on and he slipped on the ice and broke his leg. But he, even him being there and everything, he, he was a pleasure. But Nell was just, I remember there were, well, I don't know, maybe she had nowhere else to go, but I think my mother putting up with her. 
she loved Chick because Chick would come in home from work. They'd go in her room. She had a bottle in the closet. They'd have a little drink together. But she was such a hottie. She was the one that taught me always cream your elbows. But the funny thing is she said women don't really cream. I cream my heels. And I cream my corn. <laughs> I can remember going on a cruise with Emily, and you know, on the cruises you have the the uh, beauty powder there and everything. And I said, to Emily, I'm going to go have a pedicure. Emily had never had a pedicure, and of course, she lives in in the Detroit, cold weather. So I said, Emily, why don't you come have a pedicure? You'd never have it. Well, let me tell you, the poor girl, she looked at Emily's feet, and it was all hard and cracked and all. 